Okay, I wanted to make a short and sweet video to give you all the information you're going to need to um, adhere your solar panels to your RV roof. At least in the case that I have, it's an aluminum fiberglass roof. I didn't want to drill any holes, so I got the uh, the drillless mounting supports. Got them off Amazon. Got the 400 watt Renogy solar watt kit. So. I had taken my refrigerator out because it failed and put in a, uh, a Samsung residential refrigerator. So at that point I had the whole area behind the refrigerator to run my wiring down. I ran it down through the vent for their old refrigerator that I don't need the vent anymore. I sealed it off, ran it all the way down to my bays down there and that's how I got my solar wire down there. And then I'm going to button this up, this wiring, move it as far underneath as the panels as I can and then I'm going to tape that up and, and clean it up. Right now what you're seeing is um, I have some of the supports. I have the UHB tape underneath. I did that first. And then I put the uh, 221 Cicaflex around the seal, the bottom. And I didn't feel like that might not be, might be enough to support it. So what I've done is, I've, I'll put it in the link below. I've also put some ceiling, roof ceiling tape along here, along the feet, so that I have the extra bonding and extra holding power. Now, what I did was I drilled the mounting uh, plates to the panels. I brought the panels up here one at a time, laid them out the way I wanted to, and then I took a Sharpie and marked around the feet so I know exactly where they were at. I also wanted to make sure that they were close enough so that I could get them connected. I've got two in parallel, so there's these two in parallel and those two in parallel, and then they both run back to the main going there. So I had to buy four extra wires for that, but I wanted to keep them to where I can connect them. Um, then at that point, I wiped down the uh, mineral, wiped down the, the uh, everything with mineral spirits, and that's after I sanded down all of the feet on the bottom, top, and around, anywhere the Sika Flex was going to touch these mounting brackets, I sanded them down with 220 grit paper. Then, I brought, when after I brought the panels up, I wiped everything down with uh, mineral spirits first, the roof and the feet, and then I applied the VHB tape, uh, this 3M VHB tape, and then I laid them down. And then I loosened the bolts in the mounting a little bit to give it a little bit of flexibility so that um, the mounting feet were laying flat on the RV. And I let them sit for three days. Didn't touch anything for three days with the VHB tape. Give it a chance to seal. Then I came up here on the fourth day and I ran the Sika Flex. I, pu I pulled the panels back up to get them out of the way because I had to do the Sika Flex all the way around the inside of these mounting brackets. And the only way you can get to the inside of these is to move, remove the panel. So I removed, removed each one of the panels, Sika flex it all around, then I put the panel back down and tightened it. I did that to all four panels, and then I let that sit for two days. Now we got sun here, so it's nice and warm. Everything was cured. Then today's the third day after the Sika flex set. Now I'm putting this tape down. And the name of this tape. Uh, I'll put it in, I don't remember where it's at. It's from Micro Sealant Technologies. It's a real sticky tape and a peelable backing. And I'm going around, finishing all that. I'm just wiping them clean and then just doing all the seams of that. That's, that's more, that gives me more uh, holding power and better sealing and I just, I feel better. I wanna do three layers. If I'm gonna do something, I'm only gonna do it one time. I'm not gonna have to worry about the things flying off. We go to the Glamis Imperial Sand Dunes and it gets really windy there. You get crosswinds, you get everything. I wanna make sure that not only when I'm driving or when I'm in a real windy situation, that these panels aren't gonna move. So I'm gonna do everything I can to make sure that they're not going to move. And drilling holes in this roof was not an option because I don't know where the studs are at and um, I wanted just to do it this way and because the other way just wasn't an option. So if you've got any questions, just go ahead and ask. But as you know, in every situation, you've got other variables. 
So the best thing you're going to have to do is just utilize all the information you can get and then pick what's best for your situation. So I'm going to go ahead and finish putting this tape down and get that sealed. Then I'm going to tidy up my wiring and I'll take a picture of some other stuff. This is the coach that I put the 400 watt solar system on. Let's go back down and zoom in a little bit. And what I did is I just put the control box, the adventurer control box out here. I didn't want it on the inside. It would take a, too much wall space and I think it's kind of ugly in a way, but I'll have it out here. I got the Bluetooth uh, controller right here. I can just hook with my phone. It's a phone to read what it's putting out or whatever. It's I can just look at it on my phone. Um, I took and mounted a uh, 30 amp fuse, one on the positive from the battery to the controller, and then one on the positive from the panel to the controller. That way I'm covered on both sides. And like I said, I just ran it up behind where the refrigerator went. There's the vent up there, and then there's the rear vent. I blocked them all off now because I've got a Samsung um, residential in here, and I'll make a video about that another time.